Hey Saints, welcome back to another week of SFHS Today. I'm Emily. And I'm Hannah. With the new trimester starting, we are eager to unveil our new virtual set. We are also looking at a new format, having two separate shows during the week, with sports on Wednesday and news on Friday. With the scare of an evacuation right before finals, reporter Ben Hyland thought about other security issues at the school. He got one of the students' story of a recent theft and how it was handled. School security has always been an important issue, but especially in the last week with the bomb threat. Today our focus is on break-ins. Well, I was in class and came back and all my stuff was gone. Phone, wallet, pants. Well, I went on the uh, phone thing, uh, find your iPhone or whatever. My mm -hmm. phone was going off in a garbage can, so you saw something throw in the garbage can. Although he didn't want to make an on-camera appearance, the St. Francis police officer, Dan Allen, explained to me the importance the surveillance has. My locker was locked and everything, so I don't even know how the kid did it. With the help of video surveillance, Riley's belongings will return. For SFHS Today, I'm Ben Hyland. Tonight, the middle school and high school jazz bands will be per performing their holiday concert at 7 in the PAC. Sophia Kornemeyer went out to get more information. The concert is free to the public. jazz band plays a lot of different styles of music, rock uh, music and jazz, swing music and popular music, um, like the tunes that are played when we have the coronation celebrations and pep fest and stuff like that. Um, the students also rehearse outside the school day, so there's an activity fee associated with it. And um, for the AM band, the rehearsals start at 6.30 in the morning. Um, and for the PM band, they're after school. Yeah. So the AM band is reserved for students that audition for the group. So it's an audition only group. Um, so it, and it's the more conventional setup of a jazz band. So a rhythm section has a bass and piano and drum set and some auxiliary percussion and then trumpets and saxophones and trombones. So that's the AM band. For the PM band, it's anyone is welcome to join the group and we can take flutes and clarinets and French horns and whatever comes our way. It's just a lot of fun. That's all it is. You get to play really cool music. Um, and you get to, at the end of the uh, this year, we will get to go to the elementary schools and we will get to go to the Mall of America to play for the people at the Mall of America and the elementary schoolers. And I know Cedar Creek especially, they love the songs we play. They'll sing along in the lunchrooms and it's just a lot of fun. We have about 20 or 25 students in each of the of the groups and there's a few students that do both just because they love jazz and they like to be a part of it. For both of them, um, just improved performance. Um, the AM band last year went to UW Eau Claire. They have a big festival there every year where there's a hundred jazz bands and it's set up like a competition where you get a score. So last year was our first year doing that so we're hoping we can improve on our score and placement uh, when we go to Eau Claire with the AM band. So yeah. For me, I'm in a lot of music activities, lots of band and choir, and jazz is probably my favorite favorite genre to perform because uh, it, at times it's like really lively and there's just things you can do where it's like, you just feel really cool doing it and there's also like, uh, like more laid back moments where it's like calming. There's a lot of students that stick out um, as leaders, everyone that's getting up at 5.30 in the morning so they can get to school and practice at 6.30 is just showing leadership by, by being here. Personally, I my goal is always to just become a better musician and learn how to play more styles and more challenging music. And I think what started me playing jazz music was my older sister was really into jazz music. Yeah, Connor Sullivan has been a soloist, Carl Jensen has been a soloist, Becca Tice. Um, Austin Belford, Austin Grebe, uh, everyone in the rhythm section is on their own part. Connor Swafford, Alex Lord play drums, uh, Katrina Johnson plays piano, and Joe Blom plays bass. So those guys are on their own part. So like everything they play is a solo. Sticking with the music theme, Winter Drumline is in the spot of Five Minute and Fame. Currently, I have been doing drumline for three years now. I really find like um, the competitiveness, it's really competitive and then like 
you get to have a really good chance to like bond with the, like already great friends that you're hanging out with it every day and stuff like that. So pretty great. Hopefully, like um, you know, improving my skills on the rumba and being able to just you know play with all my other band buddies that I play with. Uh, I've directed drumline at St. Francis High School for the past two years. Um, I hope to keep educating the kids. They're doing an awesome job this year. Uh, they keep practicing, they keep coming back with all their stuff learned, which is awesome, having them be more comfortable with the parts that we write for them. Uh, I like the people, the competitions, and just getting to know everyone. This is my second year of film one. Probably finals, and just like watching the entire room. Next week on Tuesday, the concert band will be hosting Chisago and Princeton for a holiday concert. Thursday, there is a holiday band concert at 7 in the PAC. Tickets will be sold online at seatyourself.biz. Each month, there are a number of students selected from each department that have done outstanding work. November's students of the month were Emily Johnston, Bria Tobacco, Sophia Kortemeyer, Madeline Olson, Miley Lohr, Miles Westbrook, Haley Dallas, Riley Moore, Dylan O'Brien, Alex Othout, Rosenau, and Lucas Phelps. In other news, the Bridge Street Journal is look, still looking for people to submit their prop, poetry, artwork, photography to be included in the 2015-2016 Literary Magazine. In community news, the Old Taco John's is now being turned into a Checkers Burger Joint. Checkers is going to be open next Tuesday, December 8th. Bowen Phelps went out to gather students' thoughts. Even though the place is called Checkers, you don't play checkers there. You eat extraordinary burgers with good buns. I'm really excited about their wings. They have a lot of different wings, and they have milkshakes and mozzarella sticks. I kind of creeped on their menu. It looks really good. Uh, I'm really excited about the uh, milkshakes. I hear they bring all the boys to the yard. All right, I'd have to say I've never been more excited for something in my lifetime because it's open till 4 a.m., and they have the Baconzilla. And that will be my meal of choice every single time. Um, I've heard they have really good burgers, and I think it'll be a fun spot to hang out with my friends. Mm, to be honest with you, I'm more of a chess man myself. Maybe a little Chinese checkers, but I guess I'm willing to try checkers. Heard they got some good shakes and malts. I'm kind of a malt man. Yeah, I'm a checkers guy. I just want a big old burger. That's my favorite. Hey, Emily, have you heard of the new after school app? Yeah, I've heard it has caused a little bit of trouble and that some people are afraid that it might be a gateway to bullying. Let's hear more about it from our reporters, Brooke M. and Caitlin Christensen. It's an app, I guess, where people come and have about things about school, people, I guess, and it's getting some flack from the administration about you know, people bullying on it. So, yeah, I have the app. I've seen a couple of things. It doesn't work very well on my phone, though. So. After School is an app where people post things anonymously. And it's an app where everybody talks about each other. Yeah, and you can comment on other people's posts. I had the app, but I deleted it. And I don't like it, but it seems to be pretty popular. It is an app where people from like our school or like other schools go and they can like say stuff anonymously. Okay, I guess. I don't know. I mean, some people can talk crap, but I mean, other people are kind of funny. I think it's fine. Like, sometimes if people are being really rude, it's not cool, but if you're just having fun, then it's cool. I think it's dumb how people are like being mean to other people. I think it's kind of weird how some people like compliment you on it. You don't know who they are, but I think it's funny at times. It can be mean. Administration does not have the right to delete it because it's all anonymous, so you don't, they don't know who's posting what, and they can't just take all of our phones and look because it's not way deeper. And um, it's freedom of speech. Um, Thanks, Brooke and Caitlin. As the holiday season grows closer, the SFHS food locker is now open for those in need. It's the random question thing. Ding. My senior crush is Mason Abraham. Mine is Mackie Cope. Mine is Bailey Galbraith. Lucas Phelps. Alyssa oh, Seibert. <laughs> Kelly Hansen. Amanda Kishish. Lucas Carroll. <laughs> Amelia Chamelia. Ben Deers. Robbie Whitney. Bo Blansky. Brett Norton. Eva Limbrink. Alan Blue. Max Green. 
My name is Tristan Hansen and my senior crush is Gabriella Montez. snowstorm. We ended up getting five inches of fresh new pattern. Today we have a high of 41, low of 30. Tomorrow we're gonna have a high of 45 and a low of 26. On Sunday though we're gonna have a high of 41, a low of 26. Sorry snow lovers but no more snow for us for a while. That's all we have for you this week Saints. Have a great weekend.